Welcome back to Kentucky Mountain Vlogs. Today, I'm doing part two of that squirrel catch and cook. I'm cooking it. If you can hear the, if you can see those sparks coming up, that is the grill. I'm going to be grilling some squirrel and I have it in this chimney starter while I'm trying not to get lit on fire. And uh, I'm doing it in this chimney starter so I can have the charcoal lit up. Because there's, you put charcoal in there and then the paper in the bottom and it lights the charcoal. This is what it looks like on top. Didn't want to burn my camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry this off. Put my camera down. Put my camera down right here and dump it. I'm only going to do one tray because we only got three squirrels. I'm just going to cut the legs off of them. I wanted to make, there's like four or five different recipes I want to make, but grilling them is the only one that was going to work out. I might try, I'm probably going to try them some time in the future, but not right now. But I got these fire gloves on because this thing gets super hot. And I'm going to just take, pick it up. Ah, spark some arm. And do that. I got my chimney start. I'm setting this over here. And this little piece of metal that came out on it is holding the charcoal from falling over there. From falling inside the container. Yeah. The chimney starter. So I'm going to try it evenly. Just, just distributed uh, heat for all three of the uh, I don't want to get lit on fire for all three of the uh, squirrel eggs. Six, technically. Since we got three squirrels in each of them. No, wait. There'd be a lot of squirrel eggs is what I'm saying. We got three squirrels and there's four legs on each one. So that's a lot of squirrel. Oh no, I melted my camera. Yep. That's how you melt your camera. I'm going to adjust it. I got a little chimney up here. Close that about halfway. Try to get this temperature up to uh, about two feet. I actually probably want to get up that high. It will be down there, but not up here. Oh, wait, it is rising. You can see it. It's about a 115. This thing will focus. Yeah, it's about 125 now. Oh, I want to put this part in which is sitting right here. I just sprayed it out. That's why everything's wet. But I'm starting up the grill and then I'm going to chop up the meat and let the thing get heated up. Because right now it's about 150. I got one tray, one grill grate. I'm gonna, I got a cutting board over here. I got my tripod set up. And then I've got the squirrel meat inside. I'm going to go cut that up. Okay, I got everything here now. i doing this outside. I got a cutting board inside of a plastic bag, a Walmart bag. This isn't a Walmart bag, but it's inside of a bag for uh, to keep all the juices Ooh. off. I got this squirrel meat. We got the squirrel last night. I didn't show it because it got too dark to film. And I just cut the legs off it. I got two more squirrels in here, but I got one last week and got one the week before. Oh, just the other day, I got a uh, some. I got some barbecue right here. I got some barbecue right here, and I got uh, another squirrel in my hand right here. I got just got vacuum sealed. And there's a lot of blood in there, but I'm just gonna cut the legs off. Try to avoid this area. Just about lost my thumb right there. But uh, I'm gonna cut the front legs off here. Back legs off, both of them. We'll make sure this is still recording. And I'm just gonna slice this first before I get any squirrel juice. I'm gonna move this barbecue. I moved the barbecue by the uh, grill. And I got this other bag here to keep the 
put the squirrel parts I don't want in my trash so I don't have it just laying everywhere and track bears. And there's blood all over me now. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna flip. Oh, it's still cold. I'm gonna cut in through here. Cut around the leg. I don't know how to get all these hairs off here. I'm sure they'll burn off. Break off the hip bone. Got it. And there's a squirrel leg. That's one bone, that's how you do it. And we'll break this one ahead of time. Now I'm going to take my knife. Just cut down like that. And that is a squirrel in the background. We got squirrels squacking in the background. Just going to take this one down. Pop the shoulder like that. And there's your uh, four squirrel eggs. Now, one more squirrel. And then I'm going to go rinse this off. Okay, we rinsed off the meat and uh, now I'm just putting these on there. Don't let those cook. Then we'll go rinse off the other ones. Okay, we put it on. And uh, here's what they look like. That's it. That's what they look like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put barbecue on these when, in a minute. So I got the barbecue right here. I got a little brush here to do it on. And uh, just adjusting this. Thing. I got the brush over here to wipe it on. It's about 150, 155 degrees. In a minute, we're going to flip it over and then uh, see what they're doing. See how the other sides are doing. I'm going to put this camera where you can see underneath them. That's what underneath cooking squirrels look like. There's something over here. It's little Colonel Chicken. Hi, little Colonel Sanders chicken. How you doing, little Colonel Sanders? You gonna like me videoing you? Okay, now I'm back checking the squirrel. I blew on a lot. And, uh, screw cover. I'm gonna put this on the tripod. Yeah, that works. Oh, it's almost 200. It actually went up. I hear that squirrel. Starting to drip. Juice is out. It's getting juicy. I'm gonna add some more charcoal because it's doing really good. And I don't have enough. I'm gonna add a brick like this. I use natural lump charcoal. Natural hard wood lump charcoal. This is the kind I like to use. Because it's a natural charcoal. We don't have like the originals and the regular ones. If they don't say natural, then they got all kinds of stuff in it. And that's why I use the chimney stars because you don't have to use all kinds of lighter fluids and chemicals and stuff like that. Oh wow, that was interesting. Ooh. Good thing I'm so sweaty from jumping on that trampoline.
Hey! Ah! Spark flew on me. I got burnt. You mess with fire, that sparks a lot. Yeah, that'll probably happen. Almost got this fully lit. Okay, I'm putting the barbecue on now. They're starting to sizzle. So, I got my... This little thing. Little brush on here. Silicone brush. And I got some barbecue. And I got a mosquito that's flying around me. I'm just going to glaze them with a little barbecue. Like this. I'm going to glaze them with a little barbecue and not lose them like I just lost that one. There's still hairs on them. I will know that uh, there's a better way how to get the hairs off them, but I do not know it. So, I burnt it off of most of them. Took a torch and burned them off. Trying to get some good amount of barbecue to glaze on them. Great glaze right there. I'm gonna bring this trap out a little bit closer so you can see it. See it better. Now I'm gonna flip them carefully. This is probably going to be the best tasting rodent I've ever had. Which I can't really say much because this is the only rodent I've ever had. We didn't squirrel for that was a long, long time ago. Mm, that, you can hear the sizzling. That's that's what I was trying to do. It would have been done a long time ago if I would have had the fire burning all the way, but I did. So I'm gonna do this side a little barbecue glaze. Get this little tree rat full of uh, barbecue. I was gonna try to make squirrel and dumplings. That was one of the recipes, but I was wanting to try, but I didn't want to this didn't work out that great to do it. This was going to be the one that's going to work out. I know it's going to taste good because smell it enough in barbecue, it's got to taste good. So I got most of, I got them all good covered, good covering of barbecue. And I just measured that out perfectly. So these are doing good. I'm going to close this up and then in like five, ten minutes, oh, not five, ten minutes, in a couple minutes I'm going to flip them, see how that side does. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to go flip them when I was walking up here to uh, check them. Oh, that smells delicious. That is, smells really good. Oh, they're getting a good glaze on it. I don't lose another one. Great. I'm gonna flip over. Maybe they'll, hopefully they'll get a. Wait for this other side to get another good glaze on it, like this side that I'm flipping on. Ooh, wow, that's some good glazes. Ooh, that one's got some good bark on it. Crispy. Now I'm gonna close this up. And go inside and get a tray to put some of these on because they're going to be done. Okay, I'm back out here. The temperature's about 200 degrees. Oh, wow, that stuff smells so delicious. 
and we'll just pick this little limb up. We'll get the ones that look like they're the most done. They're probably all done, it's just I want to make sure. Because this is meat. This is meat. I want to just make sure that it's fully done. This is probably better for you than uh, I'll put the scrimp so I can see. This is probably going to be better for you than, like, say you went out to, like, McDonald's and... Wait. This is probably better for you than if you would have went out and got some food at some restaurant or some place that you didn't know if the meat was safe. Okay, I've got the squirrel in my hand. I'm going to try this one right here. I've not eaten squirrel in about a long time, but there's probably not much meat on this. Yeah, there's not. If there's any meat on here, I'll try it. There's a little piece. And if you hear anybody say that, it tastes like chicken. It does taste like chicken. It's actually really good. And this barbecue. I'm gonna try me another piece. Tastes like really good. Tastes like barbecue chicken. Which is interesting because this is far from a piece of chicken. Thanks for watching. See you next time on Kentucky Mountain Vlogs. Awesome Athens.